Some of you wish there was a really easy, fast way to be able to share all those great bookmarks that you have on your blog every day. Well, I do this every day on the Cool Cat Teacher blog, and I've had some people email me and ask me how I do that. So here's our little tiny tutorial. You can see everything here I've bookmarked yesterday, and all of this is set up. Used to, it was a two-step process, but they've actually put it all together in auto blog post. You can see my blogs, and they're all set up here. Now you can add a new blog, and when you type in your URL, you can go on and go to the advanced and it has all your information or you can just type in your website address and it's going to help you and ask you your information um, there. So I'm going to pretend like I'm setting it up again and it's going to detect my information and ask for my username and password. Now I've already done it so I'm actually going to click this and pretend like I am adding a new job. So I'm clicking my WordPress blog and I can say I want to publish it as a blog or post it as a draft. Now every day Everything that um, I set up, I'm going to pretend like I'm setting this up again because this is how I do it. At daily education and technology news for schools. And then I can pick the tags. So everything that is tagged education, I want it to daily go to my blog. Now you can pick a weekly post, but those only go live on Sundays. And I found that that's a pretty bad day for traffic, particularly in education, because most of us take a day off. And then you put the time that you want it posted. Now, I actually have it posted really early in the morning because I want to go in and edit it before it goes live. Again, you can make it go straight to your blog, but I always like to recheck things. I'm going to click Cancel because I've already done that right here. You can see all the information set up and everything that I tag, Education and Dego, goes there. So we can look at everything I tagged yesterday, and you can see the complete guide to Twitter lingo, 20 technology tools, STEM education crisis, all this sort of thing. So this has already gone live on my blog this morning. I was up at 5 a.m. editing and tweaking this. I did have to add a picture, and I kind of want it to look nice. Um, I always try to level up and make things look better. So um, you can see I've added some formatting, and then at the bottom, it's got all of those hyperlinks from Digo, but all of that work is done. So let's look at the post for what this looks like. So what I usually get when I come in is it'll just look like links. Um, so I'll go into my on my posts and I'll click on drafts and I'll see a new draft in there. Oops, let's fix that error. And then I'll see all this. It has my Digo tags and it has all of the topics and the information that I've got in there. And um, I can look and see if I need to spell check. Looks like there's a little typo there. And I ha add these headings myself because I kind of want to add a little bit of a summary, but you certainly don't have to do that. And then when it's done, I hit publish, and there you go. So all this at the top, I add that manually. And then I go down here and I add a little photo because I always people like to have photos. If they don't have them, a lot of times they won't pin it to Pinterest and share it. So now you have an automatic way to share your blog. And uh, this is great for IT integrators and uh, people who want to share a lot of resources but don't have a lot of time. So you just want to bookmark and share those automatically. Good luck. Hope this helps.